Uh, I feel like it was just a point where the players had to trust each other, you know. The defensive scheme was there, you know, we all were there. It's just, you know, doing your job uh, better than, you know, what's what, what, what the coach is teaching, you know. Like executing other than just trying hard, you feel me? That's that's what I feel like was the big change in that. For you guys up front, what's, what's the challenge against a quarterback who's going to run around and use his legs? Um, you know, I say just keep him contained, you know. Give him a one way, uh, one way other than two, you know. He can take different routes. Um, just keep him contained, put pressure on him, and then get him down at the end of the day. That's, that's the only thing we got planned for him. Oh uh, yeah, um, the feeling, you know, honestly, it hasn't hit me yet. I'm trying to enjoy every bit of it before I just, you feel me, break down. You know, I've been here for a minute and over, f over four, or four or five years, you know, and I've gotten close to a lot of these guys, you know. So I just, you know, want to soak up every minute I have with them and play, play my heart out for them, you know, give them everything I got before I leave, get up out of here. Watching Tyler Beatty speak after the game on Saturday, you mentioned, you know, playing for Michael Maietti, like trying to get him to his first bowl game. Have you noticed any sense of the rest of the team kind of rallying around seniors like you? Yes, um, you know, it was a big part of sending, uh, we made it a big deal sending the, sen sending the seniors out the right way, you know, and that's ending them with, you know, with these last two wins or or either a bowl game, as you mentioned. Uh, so we just want to send them out right. And I'm a senior, but, you know, I still want to make sure the younger guys know how to send seniors out right, you know, you feel me? So um, I, I done seen it everywhere across on the offensive side of the ball, defensive side of the ball, everybody's picking up seniors, you know, bringing – or younger guys picking them up, bringing them together, showing them how to do things better so we can finish the season off right. And, you know, senior day, just what does it mean for you kind of going to that with, you know, their advantage as well? Can you say actually one more time? Yeah, sorry. Um, going into you know that senior day, what does that mean for you to do that you know alongside Derek Dennis or you know someone you've known for? Oh, uh, man, it's honestly it's a blessing. You know, I've played ball with this guy for over 12, 12 years. I want to say since eighth grade. Um, so uh, it's a blessing, you know, to continue to play ball with this man and, uh, and see both of us grow as players and as men. So it's just a blessing and great feeling. I don't know. Oh, uh, we we played for each other and won, you know. That's that's all I I don't know. I played a lot of ball. Senior day from high school, man. I barely got clips. I just got pictures. I ain't I can't remember a specific time or how it went, you know. Did it feel a little weird going through this with Bear but not Taylor? Oh, uh, you know, yeah, I say yeah, because Taylor is right there with us. You know, we've been playing with each other since the same grade. Uh, you know, Taylor's doing great things other elsewhere, but you know, I know he's gonna uh end his season out well. Seeing one win against play from a bowl game, um, is that something that's on everybody's mind at practice and when you guys are preparing? One more time. Um, being one win one win away from a bowl game, is that something that's um, on everybody's mind in practice when you're preparing this week? Uh, yes, I, I would say, of course, you know, because I didn't put it in their head like, hey, we got one more. We got to get this early, you know, uh, rather than later, you know, because we, we only got two more left and other, the, the rest is the bowl game if we get one more. But, yeah, like coaches instilled that in people's head, like we got to get this one. And, um, like, the big deal, like we – from last year, we haven't forgotten anything how they went last year. So we like we're coming in there with a with some on our shoulder and our, on our mind, you know, to get the job done. You know, speaking of last year, last year's Florida game. Any uh, extra motivation just how that game got kind of blew there in the second half and stuff at halftime? I'll say there's lots of motivation all over the field. You know, uh, we took a loss that game. Um, and of course, everybody knows the big riot, you know, brawl or whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah. So, you know, just going into this game, man, as um, you know, we're just going to play, play our hearts out, you know, leave it all on the field, show them, show them with the scoreboard, you know. Do you think anything's going to get you uh, one step on the field for a home game for the last time? I can't say. I, I can't say, yeah, but I hope it don't.
I don't know. I just want to soak up every moment, have fun, play ball. Um, Coach Davis has taught me a couple different things, you know, and I've took those in to, in my perspective and actually like applied them to my skill set. And I think it's perfect how, how he thinks and how I think. So uh, I love Coach Davis to death. Um, you know, he's a great coach, great mentor, whatever. And um, yeah, I love that he's my coach. Mm -hmm. What are those biggest things that you know, he's taught you? Using knees right here. Hands, man. Playing with your hands, pad, great pad level, you know, and uh, just executing at the end of the day.